All right, and then for your last slide on 13, you're gonna pre-write your conflict. So again, what is the conflict in the story? So remember, we learned a bunch of different conflicts. You could have man versus man, man versus self, man versus nature, man versus society. You could have all four if you wanted. You could have two, you could have one. So just try to think about what your character is gonna face in the story. So how is the character gonna deal with it? Um, so when you are brainstorming your conflicts, um, in the left column, list actions the main character will take to deal with the conflict. And in the right column, list complications that would or could result from the action listed in the left column. So for example, let's just say their action is to, um, to like, let's just say there's a bully in this story. Uh, maybe their action is to stand up to the bully. Maybe the complication in the story is that um, even when they stood up to the bully, um, there was someone who intervened and didn't allow um, the character to face that resolution with the bully. Um, there could be uh, a situation. So typically a complication is where something or someone interferes with the character achieving their goal in that action to resolve the conflict. Uh, we see in stories all the time that um, that the character, when they're trying to resolve the conflict, there's always something or someone getting in the way. Um, and then eventually, in most stories, they get to the end where they, they were able to resolve the conflict. But it just brings a little bit more excitement to the story. So make sure that you're brainstorming those ideas as well. So that's it. Again, you're only doing slides 9 through 13. Um, if you have any questions uh, regarding this, make sure that you reach out to me. If you're having trouble uh, being able to see um, the words, go up to the microscope up here. Or not microscope. I'm tired. Sorry. Magnifying glass and hit. Um, and it's it's a zoom button. So you can zoom into like 100 or 200. So if you hit 100, it zooms in for you. And then that way you can you can type and read everything. I know that there, there was a couple questions on that last week. Um, so have fun with this. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I miss you and be blessed. All right.